How's it going guys? Uh, here we go with another knife review. This is my review of, or just my impressions really, of the Spyderco Lum Tanto. This is a sprint run version with the VG10. I think former versions had like ATS-34 and ATS-55 with different colored scales. I think they even have a titanium scaled one, but it's not a titanium frame lock. Um, so this one in particular uh, is the, has the gray G10 and then again uh, the VG10 steel. So this is the best steel I think that they've used. Although I think ATS55 is supposed to be pretty good but it is an older steel. Anyway so specs of this knife. Blade closed is 5 inches. When you have it opened up you got an overall length of 8.75 inches. The blade length is uh, 3.875 so almost a four inch blade with an actual blade edge of three and a half inches. Uh, your blade stock on this knife is going to be .125 so that's just like an Emerson, just like a Sabenza type blade. And you can see right there, I mean the blade stays uniform .125 all the way uh, right to near the tip uh, where it just gets pointed for the pe uh, piercing right there. <clears throat> and then um, you've got the uh, overall weight is 4.3 ounces, so a great, it's a light knife um, and a very comfortable knife as well. I remember playing with this knife at a store and, and the first time I put it in my hand, I, I really fell in love with this knife. Uh, the only thing that I would critique it on is the lack of jimping, not to sound all like nut and fancy-ish or whatever, but I have gotten used to the jimping in knives and this is a pretty small or pretty smooth uh, knife here. And even with this hump for the spider hole here, it doesn't make for much of a grip and there's no jimping on here. And, you know, this knife is, is, I guess, meant to be aesthetically pleasing or ornamental and I guess that's why they didn't put the jimping on here but you know I, I like jimping and I like to make use of these knives so um, I wish they, had, I, they did have some kind of jimping on here. Inside you've got two Teflon washers uh, which makes for a very smooth opening knife. This is probably outside of my you know broken in Sabenzas one of my smoothest opening knives and it's super like rock solid there's no blade play wiggle or anything um, man this knife yeah is probably one of my smoothest ones ever I mean you, you don't hear anything it just glides on those Teflon washers um, so I'm really really impressed uh, with this knife inside the liners you got uh, milled out holes I don't know if you can see there you go uh, so both sides are, actually are both sides, no just the back, just the front side is, is milled out steel liners so they had to cut out some pretty big holes in there which you know saved a lot of weight on there. Uh, you got a chrome tip, or not chrome, just a, a polished stainless uh, pocket clip and the screws here are a little bit different. I think they are actually on par with an Emerson clip. So this this would fit on Emerson. So it's got the wider cutout versus you know something like uh, this one that fits like your standard Delica or um, your paramilitary twos and, and all that kind of stuff. So uh, I don't know why they chose to use this clip. As well, it's you know there's only one side carry, so that's very unspider uh, unspiderical like. You know usually they would tap uh, both sides. And, and up and down so you can do like ambidextrous carry and, and all that kind of stuff but this one you know given that it's a sprint and and all that I guess they just wanted it to, to look good so you know there's no random holes anywhere uh, so it's only good for right hand tip up carry which is great for me uh, but maybe not for uh, other you know left hand carriers or whatever like that so overall this knife, uh, it, I love this knife. It, it's a great feeling knife. It's a great looking knife. Again, this is, you know, Bob Lum designed uh, Tonto Blade. And I just liked, you know, everything about this. The polished finish on this VG10 against this great G10 just looks great. Um, this Tonto is, you know, also uh, somewhat reminiscent of, of Hinders. I don't, I've never had a Hinder, but I've seen enough pictures you know that sponto grind even though it's not a spear tip you can see this grinding near the tip here is really really well done for a, a production knife 
um, the curve and you know that that secondary bevel it'd be a pain in the butt to sharpen I'm sure but the way that those grind lines come up here and and come together and then you have that that f grinding at the tip here is just a really really good job you know by Spider uh, part so um, it's got this you know nice curvature it's not fully straight it kind of sweeps up a little bit so you got a little bit of belly and then it kind of curves up and it's not quite that hard cut uh, American Tonto edge uh, so that's kind of something that's you know on on par with what Bob Lum uh, liked to design this is my uh, Benchmade Lum Tonto uh, so these two are, are meant to be really really similar and you see the similarities in terms of the way that the handles are cut out and this little um, curvature here not quite a finger choil but you know where your finger will rest on uh, on here you know these two knives are really really similar and you know, this Benchmade has the full titanium with the frame lock scales as well as CPMM4 so in terms of materials this knife is um, superior but this knife you know is in of itself is, is a great blade you know I think this could handle any kind of task that this one could uh, that this one would handle the blade stock on this one um, I'll be doing a review on this one down the road but the blade stock on this is is I think a, a good millimeter thicker so I think this is part about like a four millimeter blade stock and this one's a, a three and a half or I'm sorry a three millimeter blade stock at the point one two five inches so um, yeah, so those are my overall impressions. Um, just to do a quick size comparison for you guys, uh, if you guys are checking out this knife, here it is against the large Sabenza. So definitely comparable in size. And then here you got it against Spider Codelica. Um, and then really quick, I'll compare it against the military. These are all knives that we're all pretty familiar with. So, yeah, definitely the, the military is a, a much larger blade. Um, you get a lot more reach with the military. Um, but this, you know, full flat ground is not going to be as strong as this uh, full, full on .125 blade. Um, so, anyway, this is a great blade if you can pick one up, you know, second hand in the forums or something. I think it's definitely worth um, the money. Um, materials wise and everything like that it's not the, the best materials uh, for the money that you're paying for but you know it's it's basically just recognizing Bob Lum as as a designer and you know just with his tradition and all that kind of stuff it's a great collector's blade it's a great user blade um, I think there's a Neptune knives on YouTube did a review on this one. He put it through some pretty hard tests, like spine wax and all that kind of stuff. And this, you know, th he's done that on Striders. He's done that on Chris Reeve knives. And I believe in his review, this is a knife that he keeps going back to. Uh, so I definitely don't, you know, put my knives through that kind of hard use. But it seems like this one is one that's really built uh, well and would hold up to whatever thrashing you might put it to. You know, so if that's your... <laughs> If that's what you want to do to your knives, then um, far be it for me to say anything about that. Um, anyway, so here's the Lum Tonto. I hope you like it, and please comment. Uh, and let me know what your opinions are of this knife. All right, thanks. Bye.